After 16 years of total blindness, Barbara Campbell can now see flashes of light and the flame on her gas stove. The device that has changed Barbara's life includes glasses mounted with a video camera, an implant and a microprocessor. I was in junior high school. Um, they started doing a test where we had to use a number two pencil and fill in the bubbles and the teachers and the instructors found that I was having a lot of difficulty being able to see that and to correctly fill in the little bubbles so they contacted my parents and we went to see a variety of ophthalmologists and then I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa. At New York Presbyterian Hospital in conjunction with Columbia University a team led by Dr. Del Priori performed a delicate operation. The surgery that we performed in June, the purpose of it was essentially to put an artificial retina into her eye. So this is a device that uh, will take light uh, that's been already been picked up by an external camera and turn it into an electrical signal so that the retina will be stimulated directly. I'm incredibly excited. This is such cutting edge um, technology. It's I'm, I'm just not what it means for me, but what it means for many, many, many people. Barbara is one of 38 people who are part of a clinical trial aimed at restoring partial eyesight in people with specific blinding diseases. The grueling five-hour operation was successful. Barbara's brain is receiving signals, but still she must learn how to process them. After only four months of rehabilitation, Barbara is thrilled to be able to see the letters E, F, J and K on a computer screen. I feel that I'm retraining my brain on how to um, understand the information that it's, that it's seeing, so it's kind of like learning to see again. This technology, of course, though, can be, uh, it has promise for um, patients who have any kind of adventitious blindness, where they have grown up with normal vision and then lose their vision. This exciting new technology is just the first step towards enabling the blind to see. Barbara's life has changed for the better. Her dream is to one day see colours again. Nina Martinek, Reuters, New York.